what car has come to Nissan's UK manufacturing plant in Sunderland to see how these 15 ton rolls of steel are transformed into cars like these. Nissan's Sunderland plant is the most productive in the UK. It's one of the most productive in the world. So what better place to come to see how a car is put together? We're going to look at every stage of the process, from the cutting, stamping and welding of these steel rolls through paint shop, engine assembly and final assembly. So sit back and see how a Nissan is born. The press shop is the first stage in the process. Chewing its way through 450 tonnes of steel every day, there are constant deliveries to this vast room, which is dominated by the sound of an enormous heartbeat. We'll find out what that is a little bit later on, but first we're going to have a look at how the steel is prepared and cut into blanks. These are the basic shapes that are pressed later on, anything from a small part to the entire side of a car. A blanking press like this washes, flattens and then cuts the basic shapes out of the metal. To change the shape being cut, different dies like this are swung into place and slotted into the presses. Think of them as giant pastry cutters. Depending on the pieces that need to be cut, the dies weigh anything from 5 to 50 tons. To save weight and reduce costs, the panels of a car aren't always made up from a uniform grade of steel, however. These robots are laser welding a section of lighter grade steel to the bottom of a higher grade steel before it's off to the blanket press. Once the steel is prepared, it's off to the enormous transfer presses which punch out the shape of the metal, exerting pressure from 2,700 tonnes to 5,000 tonnes. This is at the end of the press room. This enormous machine, which is the size of a block of flats, stamps each piece of metal five times to create doors, roofs, whatever die is put in the machine. The foundations go down as deep as it is high, solid concrete, but every time it stamps you can still feel it right in your chest. The finished panels and parts are collected into trays and stored on the biggest supermarket shelves you have ever seen in your life. Ready for the body shop next door. There are 702 robots hard at work in the body shop. Automating more and more of the process means Sunderland has become more and more efficient. In the first full year of production in 1987, the plant produced 26 cars per employee. A couple of decades later, and £2.4 billion worth of investment later, 71 cars ahead are now built at Sunderland. It's difficult to see, but this is the most sophisticated group of robots. They're able to weld the floor, roof and side panels all together in one go, and absolutely precisely. Robots are also used to seal the roofs. This machine takes 20 seconds to apply sealant to the roof of a Qashqai, where it would take a mere human two minutes and more. While 85% of the work in here is done by robots, not every job is automated. The Micro C Plus C convertible's roof, for instance, still outfoxes the robots and requires the attention of skilled workers for its welds. Every finished body is also subjected to an expert inspection, part of a quality control process that continues from start to finish here at Sunderland. So this is the end of the line in the body shop. These are cash kais and these are called body in whites, which are the final product ready for the paint shop, where we're going now to watch them get a bit of colour. So here we are in the paint shop where the body and whites are taken to be protected against the environment with various dips and sealants and of course made to look really pretty with a nice top coat in one of these spray booths. 18,000 litres of paint is used in here every day. This is the first stage of the process where the body of the car is positively charged with tens of thousands of volts so that this protective dip is attracted and sticks to every possible square millimetre. Any impurity in the air would mar the finish, so the paint shop is kept as clean as possible. Hair gel is banned, and every car gets a nice rub down with ostrich feathers before it's painted. The nooks and crannies of the cars are sprayed by these nimble workers, but the bulk of the finish is, again, down to robots. The paint shop is the traditional bottleneck of any production plant, as you can't hurry the drying process. Each car takes around an hour to bake through the ovens at around 140 degrees. To cut down on wastage, colours are done in batches, something you'll notice when you see one black Qashqai after another on the final assembly line. 
Before it gets there, however, it's given an inspection in this brightly lit tunnel, which is a bit like something out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Any imperfections here are identified and dealt with before the car can reach the last stage of the production process. This is the final assembly line where the cars at last start to come together. We've come a long way from the steel rolls and the press room, but there's still a lot to fit into the cars and bolt together. Wave goodbye to these doors. They're removed to provide easier access to the interior and to make sure they're not damaged by any tools. Dozens of workers climb over each car at every station and make this place feel like the busiest place on earth. It's an incredibly complex place too. Each cash guy, for instance, is made up from 2,755 parts, while Line 2 at Sunderland has to cope with no fewer than 2,573 different versions of the Micra, Micra C plus C and Note. While it might look like chaos, it is, in fact, a finely tuned process. Everyone knows exactly what they're doing, while delivery systems bring the right seats, interiors, wheels, parts and tools for each particular car at the right time. We're racing towards the end of the shift here and trying to capture as much of the process as possible. The workers on the line fit together the axles, engines and gearboxes almost in the blink of an eye. Wheels go on in an instant, the windscreen is attached in seconds and seats take mere moments to be lifted into place and secured. Here come those doors again. This is the final interior and exterior body inspection before the car is started up for the first time. So it's taken 2,680 workers an average of 8.12 hours to put a car together here at Sunderland, which is extremely quick. Our reliability and customer satisfaction surveys show it's also likely to be one of the best built cars you can buy. So here we are at the end of the production line in a finished Qashqai that's ready for a customer somewhere in Europe. Simple really, isn't it? Anyone could do it.